Hey everybody, it's Austin. We're back in the garage for a quick experiment, a little video while we're trying to keep warm with the Mr. Buddy heater. I'm super cold out here. Obviously I don't have a jacket on. Just came out to cut some wood for our bathroom remodel and got a little um, wood stove fan for Christmas, but I don't have a wood stove because I thought there might be a way to make this work on the Mr. Buddy heater. I've seen this on another video. I'm not sure who did it. I'll try to find it, um, but it was not my idea. But what we're gonna do is see if we can make this, this little fan here, this thermo fan, work by sitting on top of the Buddy heater. And I was trying to do this earlier and I, I was able to accomplish it by sliding on here sideways, but then the fan blades would hit the top of the grate and it wasn't super stable. So here's the thought process, which I got from another guy is you take your, your radiant fan, which just works if you don't know by absorbing the heat from the system below it, whether that's a wood stove or radiant heater, whatever that is. And it has a little motor in here like that, that spins the fan blade to circulate the heat. And so what I did is I took my grinding wheel. Let me show you. Let me flip the camera around. All right, so the fan that I got is just a simple heat-powered stove fan from Amazon. Super easy, super simple. It comes with a thermometer that goes on your stove pipe if you're using it for a wood stove, which is pretty handy. It shows you your max or optimum performance is between 300 and 600 degrees. And it's a magnet, so it works pretty pretty well. But what, what I was trying to do is make a way for that to set up there, but not fall off. So we just took the grinding wheel with a little disc on it and cut about a quarter inch hole in the back. And so now you take it, slides right on. So my buddy heater's on high. And this fan is a tiny bit warm, but not warm enough to spin that yet. And we're just going to sit here real time and see what it takes to get that little fan to move. And it does help. Oh, wait, here we go. It's been 15 seconds so far. It collects a lot of heat right above that buddy fan or buddy heater. And that's why we use this when we're camping sometimes because it's meant to use indoors, but it doesn't circulate. It just goes up. There's a ton of heat right above it. I, you know, you can probably feel that right there. It's really warm, but over here, it's just slightly warm. So we're at 45 seconds for that being on there right now. I'm just going to give her a little nudge. What is that hitting? It's wanting to go. Oh, a screw came out. A screw came out right there. That's wanting to go. Hang on, let me put that screw back in. That's weird. All right, so I just finished with the screw. We're gonna move our screwdriver. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. And that baby moves some air. That's awesome. All right, let's take this little string here so you can see. It's moving some air. That's awesome. That'd be a great way to circulate the heat in the garage. Just off my little buddy, buddy heater right there. That's super slick. So this little buddy heater will, will go about four hours uh, on one of these cans on high. And then we hook it up, my wife and I, hook it up to our 25 gallon or uh, 20 pound uh, barbecue propane heater and that'll that'll last it for a really long time overnight over a few nights for sure and you won't want to run it on high in your tent all the time you get really hot but it's a really great heater and i'm super pleased that this little cutout holds it on there super strong and then you can so i thought that was maybe the best way that level right there because it's about perfectly level and then Oh, I can't pull it off right now because that little 
tab pokes down. Actually, it, oh, I'm sorry. A little tabs pokes down right there. I might be able to slide it up, but it can also slide up to this top rung right there and set a little bit higher, a little bit different angle. So, shoot, that's pretty slick. I just wanted to show you guys uh, how to do that. A um, little something that I messed around with here in the garage that I, I did get from somebody else, but pretty neat option. I'll put the, the heater buddies in my camping um, Amazon list down below, and I'll put this little fan in the camping list um, of my Amazon affiliate link as well. I'm supposed to maybe get a few cents if you guys order one of these things. I haven't seen anything, so it's just there for a concise uh, store to look for the stuff you see in the videos. Hope you all have a good one. You're staying warm. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.